Alright, welcome back to another episode of Devon's Beekeeping and um, today we're going to be doing an inspection again. Um, this colony you would have seen from one of my previous videos with Swarm Control which is Hive A01. Now I just showed you a little bit of the activity that was going on at the front of this colony so they're pretty busy and I haven't been in this colony for about a month I would say. They're about so we had made some changes to the brood chamber the last time where i'd introduced some blank frames into the brood nest and move up a few frames so i now just want to check on the colony to see how they are progressing what they are doing with the space and then we may either introduce more space or leave them as is so let's take a look all right so this box up here is really empty at the moment And as I go down, I can see that there's activity at the top for the second chamber. And you can see they're already coming out. So from what I'm seeing up here, they're drying out the super frame that I put up which is exactly what I want them to do and most of the activity only coming from this side of the, the, the box which I summarize is where I had put up the brood frame the last time And I'm right, so mm -hmm. this one that I'm seeing here, um, filled with egg in the center, and they have started backfilling. So I figure more or less that she needs, I'm gonna have to go down and check because this was filled out. So most likely I need to go down into the brood nest to see because as it is hatching out, they started backfilling and they're building out space up here. This frame already completely backfilled with nectar. Yeah, so this is all nectar. So we have already seen where this is nectar, this is nectar, and this is nectar and brood. This that they're working on, I summarize that they're going to be using that for brood as well. So I'm going to go down into the brood chamber to see if there's anything in there that I need to move up. This is also being filled with nectar. So they definitely have the space to store the nectar, which is good. And it's exactly what I want them to do. But I want to see what's happening in the brood nest. That's really what I'm interested in today. What's going on in the brood nest? Okay, so we have the brood nest open now. I'm just putting down a little more smoke on them. As I can see that they've created some nice arches down here. Alright, so this frame out, they have not started, they've just started putting nectar on this one, which is good. Um, so, I'm going to put this aside. All right, so this frame in, I see that this is filled with nectar. They're drying it out, so you can see. This is all nectar right here, which is what they're working on drying out right now. And 
this one mm -hmm. is also filled with nectar and a little brood which is good but I need them to expand the brood a little bit more because as summer as that brood mm -hmm. is gonna start from this frame based on what I'm seeing for this one so this that is filled with nectar I'm gonna move it out of the brood nest and I'm gonna put it up in the second one to make them finish working on it so this is gonna come out of the brood nest now this second one that has nectar and a little brood on it that they're using I'm gonna put it to the far corner <laughs> And then this frame here, which was a um, super frame that I had introduced. They've drawn it down perfectly and it has lots of eggs in there. Good. So this now has been drawn down to the way that I want it to be drawn down. So I'm going to move this from out of this chamber as one of the frames that I'm going to introduce in the second chamber to get the queen up. So this is going to be in the center because the brood nest is from here coming across. I think most likely it's going to stop somewhere off about the last frame or the second to last frame. So this that is filled with brood, I'm going to move this up to the second chamber. I just want you to note guys that we're not seeing any swarming behavior as yet. So that means that whatever we had done may have worked out so far, but let's keep going and see. So the next frame in, as you can see, this is all brood right here that we're looking at. All brood. See that? So you know that the queen is doing a superb job when you go in the box and you look at frames like this. So this box is about to explode like um, give it a couple more days and we're gonna be filled with bees so I need to make preparations for this so this which is gonna be hatching now she's gonna be laying into soon so this I'm gonna put here so I'm gonna make space for them to expand the brutness I'm gonna introduce a few more foundation here Alright, so this frame in, you can also see that this is a new one that they pulled down and she's doing a superb job. As you can see, this is laid wood and solid. So I know that this queen is doing a superb job. frame in you can see this is a pollen frame still no signs of a queen cell but I don't like how this looks so I'm gonna tear it down this is all funny so no sign of a I'm gonna move one of these frames. Alright, so this frame is another pollen frame with brood on it so this frame I'm gonna I'm gonna check the last frame on the box and then from there I'll know how I'm gonna do Thank <laughs> you. 
guys and right up to the corner where I'm seeing Pauline I'm also seeing Brood as well so this is doing superbly well so this frame is good I want to keep this frame in the brood chamber but that second frame here I'm gonna move it out all right guys so this one that is brood as well I'm gonna move this out of the, the brood chamber and I'm gonna put it in the second chamber in the center so now all that is that is here I'm gonna checker them so all of these down here are all brood one two three four five frames are brood in the bottom and we move one two we have about three frames of brood in the top so i'm trying to give her the space that she needs so she can expand the broodness so these are the strips of foundation that i'm introducing so i'm gonna put one here I'm gonna keep the nest a little bit tidy so I want to keep these two brood frames together then I'm gonna introduce another blank Then I'm gonna introduce another blank here. This outer frame. Will be moved up here and then in that slot. I'll introduce another blank. This is it for the broodness. So I'll just smoke them back down. And I, as you can see guys, brood, blank, brood, brood, blank, brood, blank, brood, blank. I don't need to look at this colony in the broodness for at least another month. So I'm gonna move up the broodness I move up back the super that I did the second chamber all right now for the second chamber what I have this frame is brood this frame is brood this frame is brood and also this frame is brood notice that they're all in the center and then to the edge is where I'm placing all the honey frames so one two is honey frame one two is honey frame So this is it for the second chamber now what is gonna happen is that as these two frames are finished drying out these are super frames what is going to happen is that I'm gonna move these two super frames out and that empty super that I'm gonna put on the top that empty super is what is gonna house these um these two super and I'll put a two foundation strip and they'll work it out from there but when I move these up these are gonna move out exactly from the, where they are up into the second chamber to create the, the, the honey field so the queen will not go beyond the second chamber which is exactly what I want but for now this is how I want to have it to allow them to grow so they have plenty of space at the top to store nectar over here because these are empty some of these are just being filled out so they have space for here they have space for here where they can store the nectar and then they have the brood in the center 
so they, she'll finish drawing out downstairs with all the space and then she'll still be having up here to lay so I shouldn't be expecting any swarm tendency from this colony henceforth so we're gonna monitor them still but this is what we're doing at the moment all right so I had to step away from the colony because they were still around me a lot so I know it would have probably been hard to hear me but for that colony as you can see what we did the space that we introduced was enough for them to expand the brood they're all set and they're ready and rearing to go so I assume that in the next um, month or so because I'm not gonna go into the brood nest but I'll still go me go into the second chamber but I assume that in the next 20 days or so that colony is gonna hatch out all those seal brood that you see is gonna hatch out and there's they're gonna need more space so I'm just gonna be adding space at that point and then from there um, as we go into the season I just include the excluder once I reach up to enough for the second chamber where I know that they have enough brood for both chambers I'll start introducing the excluder to restrict the queen so she doesn't go up even though I know that she won't go up based on how I will be doing the third chamber with the honey over the brood nest that will prevent her from going up but I'll still use the excluder in that case so that's pretty much it for this episode we can see that it is working the queen has no intention of swarming and as we move into the season they'll completely switch from swarming and go into storing honey which is exactly what we want to get her so thanks again for watching guys and um, as usual like share and subscribe